Hey y'all, it's early and I'm about to go get my hair done. I guess I've been so lazy because I was like, I don't really want to go down there and get my hair done. Because mm. I don't know if I want to just pay that amount of money. It's like every time you get something done down there, it's 180, 220, and I just want some simple corn rolls to the back. Nothing major. But they're still gonna charge me to 180, 200, and I'm just like, that is just a little bit too much for me. But the girl cannot be chicken headed, so she must do something to her hair. So, I don't know if this is gonna stay up here. So, this is definitely the before and I just want some simple corn rolls I just I don't know I guess I'm dreading going down there because I don't want to pay all that money just to get like you said like 11 corn rolls and I want to charge 280 180 I just don't know but anyway good morning welcome to the blog your girl got her barbie shirt on today and just some black pants um, I could probably show you how to black pants. Let me see. It's just some black jogging pants that I got from Walmart. But yeah, we need to go ahead and get started, guys. Go ahead and get started to mosey on down there and get some done to this hair. Because your hair can't be looking like this, girl. Even though you're being so lazy. Yeah, I usually just jump up and go get my hair done. But I just feel like that is just way too much money. When I be wanting just simple stuff. Simple stuff shouldn't be like $200, $300. But my boo always pay for my hair to get done. So I don't need to be complaining because it's not, it's not my money. So go get your hair done, girl. Look cute. You got your clothes on. Put your black bands on. And let's get this hair done. Because you guess what? You can be looking like this all day. Okay, y'all, change of plans. Change of plans. I should have bought a hat because now. I can actually go in the house and cook. I don't need to go nowhere. I want to spend no money. But y'all, my friend, is she's going to come over and do my hair now. So I don't got to go nowhere. Y'all, look at my edges. I don't know. I think I can go in the house and cook. Because I think I got everything I need in the house to cook. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in the house and cook some food. And then wait for my friend to come. She'll be here by 1 o'clock. And then get my hair done. But I'm just so undecided. Should I do my bundles in here? Love me here. Or should I do um because they're just straight bundles. And I just don't know if I'm just gonna get tired. But these are my straight bundles. Love me here. It feels so soft. Girl gonna be rocking some long hair. Don't play with her. She not one of them, baby. So yeah, I might just go in there and something to eat. I got twelve. No, I ain't got twelve. Sixteen. This is a twenty inch. That's a twenty inch, y'all. And then this right here, I think it's an eighteen. 16 i don't know anyway this your girl bundles so she gonna be some bundles today y'all some different some different some different some different so like i said we were going to the shop and i'm so happy she could do my hair today because i don't feel like doing nothing i don't feel like going nowhere my friend gonna hook me up and y'all, uh, the girl gonna have some bundles next time y'all see me, so stay tuned. But let's go in the house to cook us some food because we don't need to spend no money. We need to go in this house and we need to go cook some food. That's what we need to do. But well, we need a need on thread. 
I gotta go to the store and get a needle and thread. I think. Most certainly, I think I gotta go get a needle and thread. Because I know I don't got one. Alright. So let's go get a needle and thread and then come back and get some food. It's like some days I'm good and some days I'm not. And I'm just so freaking over it. I guess that's why I didn't want to go get my, um, also go down there and get my um, hair done either because I was feeling, I was feeling some nervousness in my stomach. However, however, then I got to the beauty supply store and started having little mild stuff going on there too. I'm just so over it, y'all. If you got any suggestions to help me just get through whatever I'm getting through. Let me know. Because this can't be life. Like, I was fine going all the way to Florida. I was so fine. I didn't have no issues, no nothing. But I know why. Because when I'm here, I eat all sorts of kind of stuff that I'm not supposed to be eating. And that messes up my stomach. And I know it's my gut. I already know it's my gut that's making me feel bad. And I need to figure out how to change that and change my diet because I can't be going feeling like this. I should be able to go wherever I want to go and not feel nothing, like nothing at all. But I just cannot. I mean, I can. I have to just work on it and work on my diet. I thought I seen something in my cup because they have so many ants in this house. Oh, no idea. But, yeah, so I'm going to be drinking on this. 7 up and spray that settles my stomach. Then I'm gonna drink me a probiotic drink also because um I gotta have something for my stomach, guys. I just I'm just so over it at this point where I just feel like how did I go all the way down there? Which I'm so proud of myself. I went all the way down there. Seven hours there, seven hours back, stayed down there five days, not a problem, nothing whatsoever. And I'm so proud of myself. As soon as I get back to Georgia, bam, my panics and stuff start to happen again. And it's just like, girl, it's your stomach. Because, you know, everybody know that your gut is the brain of your body. Because if your gut ain't right, brain ain't right. So, yeah, I'm going to go in the house and try to make me something to eat and clean this cup out. Because I know I'm all over the place. We have a major little sweet ant problem. And it always gets into my fucking cup. So, I'm about to go ahead and wash my cup out. Later on, get my hair done. I'm excited about that. I'm just not happy with my gut. So, but it's my fault. Like, last night, I had pizza. And I had a little bit of pasta. I should never ate that. It's too late to be eating that kind of stuff. It's way too late to be eating that kind of stuff. And it messes with me. And then I get into my head and then it's just over with. But yesterday, I have to say, I am proud of myself because I was going down that road yesterday while I was trying to have, like, something going on yesterday with my anxiety and stuff at work. But I work my whole shift. I know God is in control. I know God is going to heal my stomach. I know God is in control. That's all I can say. And um, this too shall pass. And I will be feeling better soon. I just gotta get my gut together. Maybe maybe something warm to eat. I don't know, guys. I need to be exercising again, which I am gonna add that to my body, my um, my daily routine, because I gotta get this weight off me, guys. It's just I don't know. Anyway, I'll touch your head off, baby. Tell her to shut up. Shut up, Tina. Go go do something. Go find something to do. All right, bye, y'all.
So yeah, I got this um this new little shaker cup for my smoothies. You can do instant smoothies. I don't know the name. Kinko. Kinko, I guess it's called. Yeah, maybe I'll open it. It's a cute little bottle shaker. Put your liquid to this line and then you add these little powder mixes to it. I'm about to show y'all right now. But yeah, I found this at Walmart. And they got all of these flavors. They got this one right here is your greens. Kiwi, apple, and spinach. I'm going to drink one of these today after I eat my breakfast. But yeah. That's what I got. Ins Let me show you how to inside of it. So inside the bottle, it's like this. A little small bottle. And I got a little thing to shake your stuff. You just put cold water in it or whatever. And yeah, like I said, I got like different kind. Like this is the kiwi. And let me show y'all. So we got this one, the mango, the yellows or whatever. Then I also got this, the purples. But yeah, when I try it, I'm gonna let y'all know how it tastes. Then I gonna have some shrimp in here and some potatoes. Your girl is getting her hair done, y'all. Anyway, I'm going to show y'all what I'm cooking today. Because we got to keep this vlog going. And then we're going to post it for tomorrow. Post it, post it. Let me show you. Garlic parmesan corn on the cob. We're having pasta salad with these cute little noodles. Y'all see it. My mom, she saw it, so y'all see it. Then we got some chicken going in here. going to be some barbecue chicken. Pasta salad, corn, and, and I need to make a green vegetable, but I don't know what that's gonna be. But yeah, just pull it up, let y'all see. Oh yeah, getting right, getting right. But yeah, we're gonna do a green vegetable. I don't know what it's gonna be, and then I'm gonna make some banana pudding. I don't know. All right, guys, we're trying to. We're gonna make some garlic parmesan corn on the cob. First, we're gonna start with some butter. I'm just gonna tell them what that's in it. Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and cream cheese. That's all you need, guys. We'll be back. It looks so good. And now we're about to put our corn back in here. And we'll pull y'all back up. Oh, no. And this is what it is. And that's all we gotta do is sprinkle a little parsley at the top. So yeah, this is how my hair turned out. Yep. See y'all in the next vlog. I think this edge control is turning white in my head. But we'll fix that tomorrow. But yeah, this is my new hairstyle. 